Hey SolidWorks community, welcome to the final part of our three-part series where we're working through setting up configurations and configuration publisher to make assembling different versions of this geared pendant a breeze. Up to this point we've created a bunch of different configurations of our pendant both manually and with the use of a design table and we set up a custom property manager for each of the pendant's parts within configuration publisher. Now let's open up a new assembly file to see the results of all of our hard work. In the new assembly environment, you'll see the Begin Assembly Property Manager automatically pop up, which shows any parts you currently have open. In this case, I have the pin and enclosure, center gear, and outer gear part files open. I'm going to select the enclosure from the document list, and now notice right underneath this there is a drop down where you can choose from the various configurations we created. This drop down will appear for any part that contains multiple configurations, and it has nothing to do with the work we did to set up Configuration Publisher. To see the results of that work, let's go ahead and hit the green check mark to drop the enclosure part into the assembly. When you add a part with the configurations into the assembly environment, the Configure Component Property Manager pops up. Here you'll see the option to either configure the component using the configuration names, or recall in part 2 of the series we created a few custom parameters using Configuration Publisher. Here's where you'll see the results of that work. There are checkboxes to toggle between the small and large versions and the three outer gear and four outer gear versions of the pendant, as well as a drop down list where we can choose from the four different materials we designated for the part. As you can see, as you toggle between the different versions and choose from the drop down list, the part updates on the fly based on your selection. Let's go ahead and use the small four outer gear version in a pure silver material and hit OK. Now let's drop in the rest of our components. I'll navigate to Insert Component and drop in the center gear with text. For this component, I'll choose the gold material from the drop down list. This is the smaller version of the pendant, so I'll make sure the large parameter is not checked and hit OK. And I'll do the same thing for the small outer gear. Finally, I'll drop in all of my off-the-shelf hardware and begin mating all of the parts. This series is focusing on configurations and configuration publisher, so I'm going to speed up the assembly process. If you'd like to see a detailed tutorial on setting up basic and advanced mechanical mates, check out our Heart Geared Pendant tutorial series. You'll find a link to that series in the description below. So here we have our assembly completed, and the rotating message functions nicely. One of the great things about setting up Configuration Publisher the way we did is it makes changing a configuration within an assembly a snap as well. Let's navigate to the enclosure part in the history tree and right click. Here you'll see the option to re-enter the Configure Component Property Manager. And here I can very quickly visualize how this pendant would look with different material combinations. Well, SOLIDWORKS users, we hope you've walked away from this series with a deeper understanding of how powerful configurations and configuration publisher can be. It takes a bit of work to get it geared up, but the time saved in the assembly environment on the back end of all that work is well worth it. 
happy modeling, and as always, thanks for tuning in.